about DC imperfections that cause the output out offset voltage. These, of course, as you saw before, come from the DC power supplies that power the op amp. It turns out that it's actually much easier to model their effect uh, at the input than the output. This is because the actual imperfections are caused by things at the input, which you'll understand later when we uh, actually design our own op amps. Let's show you a, a picture here of the <coughs> imperfection parameters that allow us to calculate uh, what the uh, output offset voltage will be. There are three of them. The first one is the input offset voltage, labeled right here. Then there are the input bias currents, IB. Two of them, notice that they're the same on both the positive terminal and the negative terminal. And then there's the input offset current right here, which is actually the difference between the uh, current coming in the positive terminal and the current coming in the negative terminal. What we did here was instead of using the current in the positive terminal and the current in the negative terminal as parameters, we split it up into differential and common mode. The IB, the input bias currents, are the common mode parameter and the differential current is I offset. These parameters are given in uh, op amp data sheets. Let's look at a typical op amp data sheet to see how we might find them. So this is the op amp data sheet for a 741 op amp. And here on top you find the input offset voltage, typically 2 millivolts. Down here you're going to find the input offset current, typically 20 nanoamperes. And down here you'll find the input bias current, typically 80 nanoamperes for this op amp. These parameters allow us to calculate the input or the output offset voltage. So uh, what I mean is we would take our op amp like this and put this model into our circuit and then we would calculate the output voltage due to um, these parameters right here that are uh, um, describing the, the DC uh, imperfections. Let's do an example problem. So here's an example problem. It says uh, calculate the typical output offset voltage due to the input offset voltage on a 741 op amp used in a non-inverting configuration with a gain of 10. <coughs> so let's let's first of all look at um, at our uh, our schematic. So what we do is we have a uh, an amplifier that uh, is a non-inverting op, op amp amplifier with the R2 and the R1 as you see here and here and this would be uh, typically the input of the op amp we added this V offset parameter uh, from the uh, uh, right here, from the model right there. We're neglecting the light blue things because we're only finding the output offset voltage due to the input offset voltage. And so we have this, uh, this output, uh, our input offset voltage right here. I didn't put positive or negative terminals on it because we really don't know the sign of the voltage. In general, these uh, input offset voltages, input offset currents, and input bias currents, <coughs> um, the sign isn't specified. Sometimes you can know what the sign is going to be if you know the, the type of transistors that are used on the input, but um, generally offset voltages and offset currents, are uh, you can't tell the sign on them. The input bias current, you probably could if you knew enough. So remember the uh, formula for the 
out, in, output voltage as a function of input voltage was 1 plus R2 over R1 times the input voltage. And also notice that this, this offset voltage takes the place of the input voltage. Here we put a, a wire in, a 0 volts, to uh, model our input voltage because I want, only wanted the output due to the offset voltage. And then we put the offset voltage there. And since those are really kind of in series, it, it turns out that the output right here is just the gain times V offset, the gain being 1 plus R2 over R1. Now, when we plug in the parameters for the, uh, the 741, notice up here we had 2 millivolts for the input offset voltage. We plug that in. We plug the gain in as 10 and the 2 millivolts as 2. The gain right here was 10 and the offset 2 millivolts. We get 20 millivolts of output offset voltage due to the input offset voltage. Now, <coughs> um, you could also go and calculate the uh, output offset voltage due to the input uh, bias currents and input offset currents. and in a 741 op amp made out of bipolar junction transistors, if you have very large resistors for R1 and R2, um, that might be larger, uh, quite a bit larger than this output offset voltage we calculated here due to the input offset voltage.